Greetings and welcome to another episode of the Planetary Persuader. I am Cosmic Kev, your host, and this is for August 4th, 2017, Friday. And what are we looking at today? Well, we've got this uh, moon in Capricorn. And um, well, I guess the part of Capricorn that the moon would be in, well, if you're watching it, in the morning hours, it would certainly be Mula, which is like the root of things. So, so I can think of that. You know, in the weekend, this weekend, we're going to get to our roots, the roots of things. And um, it's also Ketu or South Node ruled, so it's an intuitive day. And it's also a day where, you know, I, I mean, it's probably, it's nice when you can keep a little tighter hold on your purse strings. Lakshmi likes that on a Friday, certainly on a Moolah day. You don't want to get in any more debt than necessary. So, in, um, in Western astrology, we call it, you know, it would be Vedic astrology, it would be a Sag moon. In um, Western astrology, we've got a Capricorn moon. And... Um, We've got opposite the moon is Venus. So we got, you know, like Venus, Venus and the moon were opposing each other this morning. And so I always think of that as like the older, wiser woman talking to the really young, full of herself, 20 year old, and, um, you know, the crone and the, and the maiden, you know, and, and just the kinds of, um, conversations, you know, idealism versus reality, um, you know, and, and in a lot of ways there's both an intellectual and an emotional com component to the moon. Um, when we're really conscious, we're happy in our emotions, we're stable, nothing bothers us, you know. And Venus, you know, Venus has a lot of desire, you know, the Venus may be, you know, in some way dispassionate, but it's also like, ah, I want the pleasure, the amour, and so, you know, we're going, well, would that be smart? Does this feel right? And it's like, well, it feels right in this way, but maybe in this way it doesn't. You know, love is complicated. It's like, well, it shouldn't be. Yeah, you know, you love your babies. You know, loving your babies, loving your puppy, that's never even complicated. <clears throat> and some people never evolve beyond loving the puppy, and that's okay, too. Um... So, you know, Western astrology, you know, it's Leo time. Time to be in the heart. Mm. And um, it's also, you know, your time you think about more like your father and what experiences he brought. Anything related to the sun. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, we're going to just do this. Sign by sign, there's really nothing that major or amazing to talk about. Um, we'll say this though, we do have a lunar eclipse this uh, this month. This weekend, I should say, it actually happens not the weekend, but it's on Monday morning at 11.11 11 a.m., so Monday the 7th. It's in the uh, lunar nakshatra of Shravana, which means to listen. It's the ear. And it's, so it's like we have to pay attention we have to listen to different kinds of sounds and things. And really the sound of silence is the one that's most important in Shravana, and it's also a lunar eclipse. 
and um, nothing as powerful as what we're going to see in another two weeks with the solar eclipse, but nonetheless something worth paying attention to. And um, and the other thing is is that we have Uranus going retrograde, which is kind of like shocks and inspiration. So we'll say this much: you know, Uranus is slowing down his gaze now. You know, so Uranus start, started going retrograde Tuesday night. So you know, planet goes retrograde. Some people say we internalize the energy. Oh my gosh. So all of us need to embrace our inner weirdo this week is basically what it comes down to. Yeah, Uranus is a lot like the trickster, a lot like the coyote. And sometimes it's the mad scientist, it's that insane genius, it's Leonardo da Vinci's drawings of how man would fly and things like this that were way, you know, centuries before it actually happened. And so some of us more Uranian type people, we feel like, oh my gosh. Are we still stuck on this? Are we not working together to have a better planet? You know, that? That's always a big question, right? And so in Western astrology, it's an Aquarius moon. So you think in Western astrology, it's like, well, what is the pulse of our social movement? You know, it's all one thing to be in your heart, Leo, and be all about me, me, me. But what about knowledge? And how other people are experiencing similar things that lead us to act more powerfully as a group sometimes. So there's your Aquarius new moon. Okay, I mean full moon. 11, 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Won't want to miss it. Um, with that in mind, we're going to go sign by sign. Beginning with Aries right now. We're going to do some quick horoscopes.